So here we are in a post-apocalyptic world where cameras are released every seven years. Oh, I'm getting itchy. I need something. I want a new camera released. Someone release something. I can't, what are we supposed to do? Use what we have? Become good with what we have? That's stupid. That's stupid talk. Ah, if only it was a flip up screen. These are troubling times. I'm used to going to the rumor sites and seeing something. Every day there'd be something, at least a lie, from Sony Alpha rumors. They're at least a lie. The, the Fuji, when the Fuji X-T4 was coming, it was like, oh, look at all this. Oh, what are the specs? <laughs> now we got nothing. Just the weight of an Olympus lens has been up there for two months. Give me a break. So today let's cry together for the sadness that awaits us. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're filming on the EOS R. My Samsung's on a timeout. He's in a corner. He's not been behaving very well lately. I've noticed a couple things. You can't be further than here in the rule of thirds prism that got us babies. Where's Canon? It don't even matter where you go. You just come on in, come on in anytime, even though it looks like a cheap camcorder from 1974. Flat I can't put my finger on it. Something's off with the Canon EOS R footage. The 1080p is 720 at best, and then they over sharpen for a lack of detail, overcompensation, like a, a guy with a, a little thing buys a Lamborghini. He's like, look how fast I can go though. That's still impressive, huh, ladies? It's not, we're in neutral profile. Contrast all the way down, and yet the blackness of the night and the whiteness of the light are so contrasty still somehow. <laughs> what the hell? So I fear for our sanity. What's gonna happen? The Fuji X-T4 is the closest thing we have to something fun being released, and it ain't coming. It ain't coming anytime soon. It could be a couple months before that even comes in for me to get another review sample from either Henry's or Camera Canada. They will fight to the death to win my heart. But I honestly can't wait to try that thing again. It was such a tease. Gerald coming over with it and I got, got to touch it. Sadness engulfs me. We're talking months of potential boredom for camera nerds. That is much more serious than whatever's happening outside. That's for damn sure. You better believe it. I could just, what am I gonna do in here? Sure, you're coughing blood, big deal. Get over it. You don't know what I would give to cough blood on a Fuji X-T4 right now. So get a grip of your life. We got a Canon live stream coming. Everybody's live streaming now, even Canon. It's like, oh, let's work online now. Welcome to 1994. Just, just saying. Us trendsetters. Oh, <laughs> my income's dropping hard though. A lot of demonetized videos lately. That's funny. That's fine. I don't mind it. I think Canon's just gonna announce another untouchable camera like the C300 Mark IV? Three? Your mom's Mark IV, bitch. My Mark. She's mine. Your mom's been a lot of things on this channel and I apologize to her. Just, I hope she's baking a cake to ease the pain. To gluten free. I don't think we're getting the R5 and R6 so soon, but ah, uh, those are gonna be far off too. And then really what's in the woodworks after that? Not much, not much of anything. What's happening in Micro Four Thirds land? Where's the GH6? Not even a smitten of a rumor. Phase, de you all know the phase detection's not gonna be in there. Let's just admit it. Admit defeat while we're here together. If I'm being completely honest with you, the GH5S, the autofocus is actually more reliable than the Samsung. I've never had real problems with the GH5. There's, if you nitpick and zoom in to 700%, you can see a couple little squeezies, the light squeezing ass over there. But the Samsung will just lose you straight up and focus on this shit, whereas the Canon's rock solid. Like, why would you focus on that just because it's bright? Oh, I see it now. But that's just for this very easy situation where I don't move, I might lean a bit. It's fine, but if you get out in the street and you wanna like set the camera up and have it track you and walk away, forget that life. On a Panasonic camera, forget your life. Cover the face, take the face. 
leave the face. Whoa. Where's Nikon's upgrade to the Z6? That was released when? I don't even remember. It was so long ago. And it was so Sony a7 III that I didn't even care. It's like, oh, thanks for releasing the same thing they just did. I want to test that thing. I like Nikon colors. Do you have a piece, a tiny piece of my heart? Nikon. And all you need is a flippy screen to gain full access to the love, love pumper over there. And it's yours. Why is the light coming from that way, but it's shining this way? Oh, where am I, you old man? Get some soup. I prefer it over there. It's better. I've been having my light here. I've been sad because of it. So, no more. This is shaping up to be a disastrous year for camera excitement. It was already sliding down with the smartphone chasing them like a cat chasing a dog. Dogs are afraid of cats. They could just eat them, but they don't realize it. They don't realize the power they have. Once you tap in there, you realize you're better than you thought. You can do whatever you want in this world, my friend. You want a million dollars? Go invest in mutual funds. That's what I did. It's been going great. It's just, what am I down now? $12,000. Oh. That's better than the 20 I was down, so you see, I just made $8,000. I don't get to see any of it till I'm 91. And even then, what's on the horizon though? A reason to get out of bed. There's not one. I wanna buy something so bad. Like a lens, maybe, for the Micro Four Third Loser system. I can't bring myself to actually do it. But a part of me wants that 42.5mm, 21.2. Can you imagine the missing birds in the background? You'd be like, what are those? I want it. And I only buy like a glass now. That's I'm a snob. These were given to me. I buy things. <laughs> I bought this three years ago, but I bought it. This was the best decision anyone's ever made. It really is. I thought I wasn't getting the best because it wasn't full frame. I was like, ah, oh, damn it. It has all the features I want, but it's not full frame. And we get this thing. This is full frame. What a joke. Full frame, it's half a frame if it was a foot. Can I change any of the things while we were... Just the mic levels? That's so lame. Oh, that couldn't be any lamer. I switched to C-Log. I can see details in the shirt. So stay safe out there. You never know what could happen. Fuji might delay the release of the X-T4. Then what are you gonna do? The mask isn't gonna save you. Not right now. Just try to stay strong, band together. Now it's a good time to spend time with your family right now, from a distance. They might have a camera that you will steal from them. In these times, they're hard. It's hard to resist killing your parents for their camera. I did it. I've done it. So what? I live with that. I have the camera. I like it. So I just wanted to give the Canon another shot. Probably user error so far. It's been a couple weeks with it. Still can't touch it right. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't ever do that. First of all, that's your first lesson. Just don't do it. Resist the urge, men. But it could be good. It looks good. It's not user error, I'm good. I think it looked best the first day I got it. And I tried the C-Log outside and I was like, ooh, Fuji LUT, a turn of LUT in there? It looked pretty good, but then you lose all control of the auto exposure and stuff. I keep getting suggestions from Canon fanboys. Get an ND filter, bruh. Just adjust it every four seconds as you move and the clouds pass by, just keep adjusting. That's your whole show, that is the show. That is the show. You can't do that. You gotta take that out of the equation. And that's all you'll think about. I've done it. You've seen my videos with the ND filter on this little thing. I stopped using it because I was like, forget that. Just like, oh, the cloud came by. Oh, okay, the building this side's a little sunnier. Okay. All I know is I had to punish the Samsung for the last video. I can't believe how bad that was. The whole thing was out of focus. The boardroom scene, ugh. Oh. You ruined my life. I laughed. <laughs>
I was making that clip where the Canon white balance was so hard to do and I was coming up with all the things. I wanted to keep going, but I laughed. <laughs> I ruined it. I wanted to say, make a three minute video explaining why you want to color white. Oh, God damn it, I ruined it. Make a short three minute movie. <laughs> oh, Jesus. To white balance a Canon camera, you have to make a three minute video explaining why you want to white balance change and why their white balance isn't good enough. And then you have to convert it to a VH tape and then mail it to their Alaskan office. And if they approve it, you can change the white balance. But until then, you're stuck. It would have been better if I just said it the first time. We always think, oh, I should have said this. And then you do it like I just did. And it's embarrassing to watch. It's just like, what's he doing? Just let it go. I get it. I see it. At least I can see myself in the articulating screen of life. I'm going to leave. Thank you for buying a camera. Conspiracies t-shirt. Is there any hope alive? Something on the... Give me a rumor. Somebody give me something. There's nothing coming. Still, subscribe. Tons to talk about here. <laughs> subscribe for more videos. I'll see you later.